Hello, hi for new here, my name is Lewis, if you're not new here you should already know you are, but hi, I'm really tired. I'm off to college today, I'm going to be doing a college day in my life. It is autumn, it's not really my favourite time of year, but we're just going to rock and roll with it, aren't we really? I don't start college until late, and I don't finish until really late either today. I start at 11.45 and I finish at 5.45. I'd rather not. But here we are, we've still got to do it, haven't we? I just went downstairs, I was going to have avocado on toast and be like, oh, cute, but I said it. But I really couldn't be bothered to have some wheat bags. I've just made my tea, which is in the bath here. That was kind of good for me. I need to get in a shower because I am um, a bit dishevelled. I planned my outfit last night through, like, Instagram stories, which is... I know, sounds a bit odd. Let me show you it all. I don't, I'll probably change the outfit when I'm Will I? Yes. This is what I'm at. I think it's kind of fun. But because it's very cold in the UK at the moment. Well, let me angle you down a bit. My knee. <laughs> I'll just sit normally. Because it's very cold in the UK at the moment, I'm going to have to wear my big coat. And I just don't think it's going to go with the outfit. Don't know what it is, well. This time of year, I just break out so hard. Like, really bad. It's past year, my skin has not been the best. Anyway, this is not a skincare video. My scarring's kind of cleared up. I always get a spot here yeah, on my eyebrow. Don't know why. And I can feel. Why is that just gone red? It wasn't red a second ago. Also, you know I did a to my backpack. Updates. I'm not using the backpack. The backpack gives me backache. But I think that's just with every backpack. Maybe it's just like a PTSD thing from secondary school. Because I can't physically have a backpack. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I need to tie my bed and then I need to get in the shower. Um, also, if you want to see a more fun aesthetic video, then go to my TikTok. Oh my god. Oh my god. Time to tidy your bed. Slay. Slaying the day away. The fact that I used slay once in my vocabulary as a joke and now it's a fixed term in my brain dictionary is. really says something about me, doesn't it? Why am I arched like this? I need my inhaler. I really need to get into the habit of taking my inhaler every morning. Vapor. Something that I'm trying to get in the habit again of doing is writing all gratitude. I feel like with Mercury being in retrogrades, I'm sorry to be one of those bitches. I'm so sorry. I am exhausted this Mercury retrograde. And if I'm honest, I'm not happy about it in the slightest. And all my friends and I are not happy. Nothing will solve it. Normally a cup of tea will solve it for me. Normally a drive for my friend will solve it. Nope. Nope. I really don't know what's up with me. Maybe I should just start listing the things that I'm actually grateful for and then I might be like, hmm, life's not actually that bad, is it? Hold on, let me show you. Go on a tripod, so. Beep. Down here. I have moved my room around again, I'm sorry. You know when like you're having like a midlife crisis at the age of 17 and you just feel like you need to move your entire life around so you move your room around? This is my bedside at the moment. I kind of like it though because I haven't really seen anybody else do it and I love being different. Journal. Let's try it. Please work. <coughs> what is up with me? I need to get my phone. I want to find some journal prompts on my phone. I don't even know what time it is. It's Anthony. It's 8.45. I need the toilet, I'm not gonna lie. I need to go for poop. Morning poop poop. <laughs> it's time to iron, ladies. It's not like a roller coaster. Everybody who follows me over on TikTok will be very proud of me. I am renowned on the social media platform for just not ironing my clothes because if I'm honest I can never be off like seriously there's no other excuse to it I just don't like the art of ironing it's quite a big effort I'm gonna have to move the camera again because I'm gonna be for you it's just like I just don't enjoy it, you know? And that's okay. Wow, look, I'm back in the Paris vlog. Wee wee. See, now I 
old me would just rock and roll with this because to me that's fine but it's really not do you not think it's crazy that we just don't get taught this shit in school like this is life yeah i not once have i done trigonometry on anything ever not once have i written another pure paragraph but multiple times in the past few weeks i have ironed the share and i didn't get taught that i'm actually kind of enjoying ironing like it's not too bad i just don't enjoy it <laughs> I have this really bad fear of somebody breaking in whilst I'm in the shower, so I just have to lock the door. I'm sorry. I know. It's really bad. I need to do these two things there. These teeth whitening strips. Oh, hello. I'm going to put this on. These aren't actually mine. These are my mum's. Um, sorry, mum. And I love the whitening strip. Can you see how icy this is? Film of ice over it, okay? Beauty is pain, beauty is pain, beauty is pain, beauty is pain. Why else I look at myself? Why oh, you fucking so cold? I do need to rant about something really quickly. Now, over on my Instagram reel, I posted the exact same video that I posted on my TikTok. This was just when I came back from holiday, and it was a video of me getting ready to go out. I have never received so much hate towards me in my life. And this time, it's not about my personality, because normally it's about my personality. or about me copying somebody, so. Bit of a change, it's kind of nice. It was about my appearance, and I've never ever had comments about my body or my parents i really thought that we had moved on as a society where we don't tell people to gain weight or lose weight like it's so normal to be different shapes and sizes i have always been quite skinny but like i'd much rather people just keep their own comments to themselves because i feel like i'm definitely building up a thicker skin and for somebody who is struggling with anything like that that could really really fuck them up and i don't think people understand how powerful just a sentence that you type can be and another thing was about me wearing makeup oh my god the amount of times that i got told that i failed as a man because i wore a bit of makeup to cover up a spot i will never get over that and you know what i'm gonna do in this video i'm actually planning on wearing makeup anyway so i just have to Watch it, won't you? And if you don't like it, you can fucking skip because I don't want your ear. That was my rant. I just can't believe in a world of people, like, huge influences. Like, I know he's had his problems. I know he's had his scandals. But James Charles, he wears a full face of makeup every day. And then there's me who puts on a bit of foundation to cover up a spot and I get ridiculed. Like, I can't believe it is like this still. It's disgusting. That didn't really bother me much. The part which bothered me was the comments about my weight. I got told to go to the gym. I got told to eat more protein. I got DMs with like weight gain and plans and I was like who do you think you are? But I feel like I might post an Instagram story about that as well because it really got to me. I'm doing my skincare as you can probably tell. I'm using the Nice and Mag by The Ordinary. Just one of my favourite products to use ever. My skin is... I don't really want to say it. It's been actually really bad the past few weeks and I don't really know what's going on. Maybe it's the change of weather. I don't know. I don't have a clue but I am definitely not vibing with this skin you know i've been watching gossip girl anything great okay time for the bit which pisses everyone off apparently i did actually split this all over my curtains not mine it was my mum and dad's curtains probably just get to see that i say this to all my friends i just can never be asked. and also should i probably use a brush or, or a sponge probably am i gonna no, no i'm not this is where i'm at with how much can with how much foundation I'm putting on. Personally, I don't think it's that much, so I don't really care. I just put it here to brighten up my under eye, like a, light, a lighter shade. Everywhere else, I've got it here, I've got it here, here. It's all places that I've just got spots at the moment, and I just want them covering up. Oh my god, it's really not covering up that spot, is it? But it's fine. Honestly, as long as this one gets covered, I don't care. Did that even do anything? Next, I use... NYX Brow Glow. NYX Brow Glow is one of my favourite products in the world. I've actually started only using it towards the arch of my brow, so it brings it up. I got the Got To Be Glued one and it's awful, don't buy it. Just whatever you do, don't buy it. It's shockingly bad. I just do it towards the tail. Don't really like to look like I've got barcodes on my brain. 
I can't lie because I don't really like that look. I kind of like it when they go out. You always have the one brow which doesn't behave. I'm gonna put some sea salt spray on my hair and I'll come back when I'm doing something else. A few moments later. Hello. Outfit breakdown before I leave because I'm not gonna be taking my camera. The jacket is from Zara. The tee is just a basic white tie. I think I got it from Primark. I get all my basics from Primark. It's just cheap, isn't it? Oh my God, I've got something. Store. Necklace and jewellery is from Anna Louisa. The jeans are ASOS. My new balance shoes. The aftershave today. This. YSL. What one is this? La Home. La Home. YSL. Love this. It's actually, it's a bit more dressy than my other ones. My other one, it's a lot more like laid back, but this one's just a bit more put together. I spray way too much aftershaves. Don't want to smell bad. But then again, you don't want to smell overpowering i am now college who's excited Woo! okay bye are you can a bit because i'm sorry to anybody who has metaphobia but guess what i have it as well oh is it connected to this i'm sorry i just went to leave the house literally just like i've got a foot on i look in the mirror i start violently coughing you know when you get that tickle in your throat that's what just happened to me and i thought i was gonna throw up so i balked like in the middle of the floor i was like oh my god ran to the sink and i just downed a load of water my throat's really sore and now i'm shaking but i don't like the whole sick thing but i did it okay i'm gonna go Bye. Totally running really late actually. The trains were delayed. So I'm not the best. I mean I'm literally five minutes away and I've got five minutes to get in, so there's also someone in front of me who's dressed very cool. I wanna try and get in front of him. <laughs> I didn't film anything else and I'm not gonna film anything else because I don't have anything else to film for this day. I got in at like half seven this night because I had to go out after it. So I literally just like got onto bed and went, so I hope everyone did enjoy. If you did, like, comment down below, follow me on Instagram. If you are new, subscribe, please. It would help. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see more vlogs like this, let me know. Lovely. Much love. Goodbye.